everyone deserves to live in a world where we produce just enough of what we need and we use the stuff that we don't so that our streets are kept clean and our green spaces stay green. There are ways for us to cut down on consumption, the stuff that we use, in order to cut down on production, the stuff that we make. For example, if people take the bus to work instead of everyone driving their cars, that will reduce the need to produce more vehicles and use more gas. If we recycle the plastic packaging that our food comes in and use it to make new things, like clothes or art, that stops plastics from being dumped in the sea, where it can make life difficult for sea life. But demand for things is rising. With more and more people living on Earth, we're producing more cars and more gas than ever before, and more plastic packaging, which has to go somewhere, whether that's in the ocean or landfills, which leak dangerous liquids into the water system. But good people everywhere are working hard to help us cut down on the things that we make, the things we use, and the things we throw away. Students are taking part in recycling projects, changing the way they think about waste by reusing it to create new things. Grown-ups are swapping diesel and gas-powered cars for more eco-friendly electric vehicles, which are much better for the environment. And others are helping put a stop to food waste by collecting leftover foods from hotels and restaurants and giving it to people who need it most. When everyone has enough of what they need and not too much of what they don't, our world will be a cleaner, fairer place.